Surely you've heard about this, right? It's, oh, it's we did a whole segment trending. on so Of course you know bots. about this. Yeah. Chatbots, artificial intelligence tools, um, just like the newly introduced chat GPT, they can effectively create written content and perform tasks like writing essays or legal documents. And these functions can make your daily life a lot easier, but there's a real danger that the evolutions in AI could cost some humans their jobs in the near future. In a recent article on CBSNews.com, Money Watch reporter Megan Cirillo uh, takes us, or takes a look rather, at what types of jobs could be at risk as a result of the improving technology. And Megan is here with us now. So I know we're sort of like the, pitching this like, People are going to lose their jobs. I prefer to say something like the employment landscape could change instead of just, you know, we're all going to lose our jobs. Um, because I don't know if that's necessarily going to happen, but it's definitely going to change the way our, we perform our jobs for some of us. So for people who don't know, explain the tasks that chatbots and sort of other emerging AIs can do. What can they do and what can they replace? Indeed, they... For starters, your jobs are safe. I don't but, know. But, Do you I, don't know Max, I keep thinking of Max Hedrum and what he must be like now with uh, with a, with technology. AI technology. Mm. They are less they, glitchy. They, they are going to change the, the way we work, and um, many people are touting them as sort of assistants, thought partners um, that will enhance the way we work. So ChatGPT and other similar, similar tools can, can generate coherent text. Mm -hmm. uh, high schoolers were, were the first to start e experimenting with ChatGPT, having yeah. it write their essays. Um, real estate agents are making use of the technology to um, you know, give it strict parameters, and then they can write listings ab about um, the, the components of a home. It has this right. many bedrooms, this many bathrooms, which actually they say frees them up to, to, to do um, more human work, like, like, like show homes. Right. So um, it, it's here to stay, and it's going to be very influential, but it's not necessarily going to take away jobs. It, it could, however, free humans up to do human work, and, and you know, while it will do more robotic work. And we saw similar things 100 years ago with the assembly line, with the model you know, T, Ford vehicles, that once you automate certain components, then humans can do other things. But if you try to get any customer service lately, you're going to encounter a chat bot first. I see that all the time. And then you have such a unique issue. Well, let me get you in contact with a human. Mm. Um, but you mentioned on the academic front, CBS Money uh, Watch recently spoke with the CEO of the online course provider Coursera about how he uses chat GPT. What are you learning? Because it's as if there are some benefits and it's not all risky. He, he's taken it to a whole nother level. He calls ChatGPT Chat GPT a, a thought partner and he treats the tool like another member of his executive team. He said if he had the choice, he, he, he'd choose the human over the bot, but the bot's free and it's available 24 mm. seven. So he'll enter prompts. He was at Davos. He'll enter a prompt like, uh, I'm going to give a speech to, to, to 50 prime ministers. What should I know? What should I be aware of? What should mm -hmm. I consider? He said he uses it to check his thinking and make him aware of his his blind spots and, and, and biases. Mm -hmm. So I know like the the like fire alarm was raised about chat G GPT in relation to education, kids cheating. Like that's the, the sexy headline. But I thought to myself when I sort of experimented with it, this may really change the way we write and what we consider a good writer. Now you have something that can write a basic text for you. Making you a good writer means having the ability to enhance this basic text. Push beyond that. Maybe that's what the future will hold, mm. right? Um, so let's talk about using these advanced sort of chatbots in education and whether or not, instead of being seen as sort of the enemy, it can actually be folded into a new way of teaching. Well, consider the calculator which we all make use of on a daily basis. It doesn't mean that, that we no longer know how to do math, right? Kids right. in school are still taught addition and, and subtraction and multiplication and division, but it, it, it helps us very much through our daily, our daily lives. So, yeah. so people have, folks have compared this to the calculator. Um, it doesn't mean that we're gonna stop teaching how to write, but it's gonna require educators and teachers to be more thoughtful about the assignments that they, that they give students. So yeah. instead of, you know, summarize this text or tell me what this story is about, they're going to ask more sophisticated questions that require students' brains to, to, to think differently. Yeah. And to be sure, this technology is very new, but uh, an undergrad at Princeton actually already came out with a, a tool that's supposed to check, um, detect whether or not a, a, a piece of text was written by a chatbot, and it's pretty accurate. And OpenAI, the maker of ChatGPT, is, is yesterday announced that it, it, it has um, made its own. So eventually, there will be tools that will be able to 
uh, check, you know, if, if something was written by a, a, a bot or a human. Yeah. And, and I really like the comparison to, to the calculator. It's something that, um, you know, we still learn how to do math, but it's something that does really make our lives easier. Yeah, you yeah. said it can sort of compile a coherent thought. I thought I thought that was a great way of kind of like putting, uh, describing it, because it's not that a great writer. It's just an <laughs> adequate writer. And um, we're living in an era where compiling or collecting information is super easy. We don't need to test a kid on how they can collect information. We need to test a kid on how Critical they thinking. take that exactly yeah, and that's yeah, the next yeah. level um I, I think this is a fascinating conversation right. as you can tell <laughs> um megan it's always great <laughs> thank you thanks, megan. thank you